Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're going to be doing an empties video. I have collected the empty products that I have used up over the last couple of months. And my basket is overflowing, so I thought it's time to do another empties video. Another trash talk video. So, if you like these kind of videos, if you like seeing the products that other people have used up and get our opinions, were they good, were they bad, then you have come to the right spot because this is what this video is going to be all about. So, without further ado, let's just get on with the video. Okay, so I'm just going to start pulling products out and I will tell you whether I like them, whether I didn't, would I recommend them, etc. So, first thing I see here, this is the Swab Professionals Coconut Milk Infusion Deep Moisture Shampoo. This one was for normal to dry hair. Um, I do like this. <clears throat> I don't like the regular Suave shampoos, like the, the ones that are like $1.98 or some of them maybe even $0.97 cents at Walmart. But the Suave Professionals line, I do like that one more. Um, they're not my favorite shampoos, but when you're on a budget, sometimes you can't buy your favorite shampoo. This is one that I do enjoy. This one does well with my hair and my girl's hair. Um, so, yeah, if you're looking for a very affordable, good drugstore shampoo, I would say the Suave Professionals is a pretty decent shampoo and conditioner to go with. So, I used up that. I'm going to go ahead and get to this because this would not fit in my basket. So, I've had this just kind of sitting to the side. This is taking me... Yep. This has taken me a good year to use this up, but it is finally empty. This is the Carrington Farms Healthy Foods for a Healthy Soul. Pure, unrefined, cold-pressed coconut oil. 100% organic, extra virgin. Now, this is the, my favorite coconut oil to use, but when I went back to repurchase this particular brand, my Walmart no longer carried it, so I had to get another kind, and it's doing just as good, but I like this one a lot. Um, I think when I bought this, this one was about 24, 24 to $25, um, and it has lasted forever. I mean, like, I've had this over a year, a good, a good solid probably 14 months, and I use coconut oil for everything. I have some videos about coconut oil on my channel if you haven't seen these. If you haven't seen them, I will leave them at the end of this video for you to check out. Coconut oil is like my most favorite beauty product ever because it has so many uses. So, if you can find this one, this brand at your grocery store, I highly recommend picking this one up because this is a really great one to use. Alright, so the next thing in here, I have mentioned this so many times on my channel, it's not even funny. This is the Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe, Cucumber, and Green Tea. This is probably about my 8th or ninth empty bottle. I love this. This is my most favorite facial spray ever. Would I recommend this to you guys? Absolutely. Will I repurchase this? Absolutely. Already have. I never, ever am without this product. This is the best. This is amazing. <clears throat> Alright, next thing in here, this is uh, my deodorant that I use. This is a deodorant I have used for years. This is a degree dry protection. I like the one in sheer powder. Now, I have used every kind of deodorant that the drugstore sells. This one is the one that works best for me. This one keeps me dry. This one I have, you know, when I'm, I could be outside sweating like a mofo and I have no smell whatsoever. This is the, my favorite deodorant ever. The other ones like Secret or Suave or whatever, they do okay, but by the end of the day, they don't hold up as well as this one. I just think this one, for me, this one is my favorite, and I will continue to repurchase this one for the rest of my life until I find one better. The next thing in here, this is a Kenra Volumizing Shampoo. Shampoo for body and fullness. Now, I did buy the shampoo and the conditioner of this. I do still have conditioner. Does anybody else like that? You buy a shampoo and a conditioner at the same time. You use all your shampoo and you still have like a third of a bottle of conditioner. Why is that? You know, I don't really use that much more shampoo than I do conditioner. But anyway, that's besides the point. Um, I did, I bought this at Ulta. Um, I do like this, but I don't think I would ever repurchase it. It is alright. It is not, to me, it's not worth the money. Um, I've, I have used drugstore shampoos that that is better than this. So, eh, I wouldn't, I, I probably wouldn't recommend it. I mean, it is alright. Um, but it's just not, it's just not my favorite. So, I'm going to skip on this. Next time I go to Ulta for a more high-end shampoo, I'm not going to do the Kenra because I just, it didn't, it wasn't amazing. 
All right, next thing in here is my Soap and Glory Smoothie Star Deep Moisture Body Milk. This is like my favorite body lotion ever. Mine and my whole family. We all use this. This I'm on my um this is probably our fourth bottle of it and we're almost out of this one too it's down to right here but this is an amazing and amazing body lotion it is so moisturizing it keeps your skin moisturized it's not one of those lotions that you put it on it soaks in and an hour later it's like you don't have any lotion on this one sticks with you i absolutely love this so yes 100 percent i will continue to repurchase this body lotion next i have my clinique clarifying lotion this is a toner actually i love this toner absolutely will be repurchasing this i think this is one of the best toners that i have ever used um, i'm currently using a toner from the brand nudu which is a natural skincare line i will have a video on that brand coming up very soon um, so keep your eye out for that but besides that toner that I really do enjoy, this one is the other one that I love, like, like the best. Um, I just, I like the way this one feels. This one makes my face feel so clean and just refreshed. I don't, you know, there's just some toners that just don't do it for your skin. Does that make any sense? Um, this one does. This one just, I love this one very much. I feel like I'm babbling. I don't feel like I'm making any sense if you want God's honest truth. Okay, this was a little like a sample. This is the Clear Scalp and Hair Beauty Therapy Damage and Color Repair Nourishing Shampoo. This is my favorite drugstore shampoo that I've ever tried is the Clear brand. It does amazing with my hair. It does amazing with my girl's hair, especially Destiny. She's got the very unmanageable hair and this line right here, this Clear line, this does really, really well with her hair. So, yes, I will repurchase the full size of this um, because I really, really like this shampoo and the conditioner from that brand. Next, I have my Gillette Venus with Olay Moisturizing Shower and Shave Cream. Mine was in the scent Vanilla Cream. I do really, really like this um, shaving cream. It it keeps my legs very moisturized i love this it's not like a typical shaving foam or a shaving gel this is more like a lotion and i really really love how it makes my legs feel when i shave so yes i will repurchase this and yes i would recommend it to you next i have my soap and glory the righteous butter um, this is this is just a body butter. I'm not going to read all this. It's just a body butter. It is an excellent body butter. Um, it's more on the affordable side. I think this is about $10 or under. Um, you can get this at Walgreens. You can get this at Ulta. I love the way this smelled. And this is like one of my most favorite things. After I get out of the shower, I love to put on a body butter after I've shaved. I just love the way it makes your skin feel. You get up the next morning, you still feel, you feel so clean and so soft and moisturized. I really, really, really love this body butter. So, yes, I would recommend this to you guys. Um, highly, highly recommend that. Next, I have a body wash. This is just a suave body wash, tropical coconut. Um, you know, just a cheapo body wash from Walmart, dollar store. You can find this at your grocery store, anywhere. I do like this. It may be cheap, but I think it works. It gets you clean. It smells amazing, and I really like it. I like everything coconut scented, especially during the summer. I'm a coconut fanatic. So this is, um, yes, this is really good. You should try it if you haven't already. Oh, yeah. Next, I have another shampoo. This might actually be the same. No, this is different. This is from the Swap Professionals line also. This is a shampoo for dry or frizzy hair. This is sleek. Um, yes, I like this one. Just like I said, the Swap Professionals line. I do like that line. I think it works just, just fine. I mean, just as good as a high-end shampoo if you ask me so yes anything from this swap professionals line i give it a thumbs up i think it's i mean i just i don't see anything wrong with it next i have um this is the walmart brand equate um it compares to the jergens lotion in classic scent as a child i remember that my aunt sandra when she would come home she would use the jergens original lotion and 
her smell that is what i tie this scent to when i smell this is my aunt sandra i love the way that lotion smelled she always smelled so good um so this equate brand it's just as good as the jergens jergens can be a little bit higher for a drugstore price um lotion so I, we normally just go with the equate brand but it works just as good and it smells just as good and this is one of my favorite um body lotions for my family because it's not just a it's not very fem i mean it is a feminine scent but it's not too overly feminine that a man can't use it so my scott uses this my son uses this we all use this and we all really really enjoy this lotion Here's another one of the Mario Badescu facial sprays. The same one, the cucumber and green tea. This is another one. I already mentioned that, so I'm just going to keep this, going with that. Um, I think Scott may have bought this. This is the VO5 Island Coconut Moisturizing Shampoo. I, don't, I didn't really care for it. Um, it's kind of like the cheaper Suave. It's all right. I mean, it gets your hair clean, but doesn't do anything extra for it. Um, you know, that's the kind of shampoo that Scott, he just, he's a dude. He just wants to wash his hair. He doesn't have to have all this extra stuff in it. So, um, I think he probably purchased this for himself, but I did use it a couple of times. It did okay. It got the job done. Got my hair clean. Just nothing, you know, I can't say, oh, they left my hair feeling soft. No, just regular old shampoo. All right, next I have, this is a Summer's Eve Simply Sensitive Cleansing Wash for Sensitive Skin. Um, I use this all over my body. I think this smelled amazing. It's, um, idea type body wash for cleansing your private areas. Because some soaps and body washes, they have chemicals and ingredients that can irritate you down there. Um, so using one that is designed, gynecologist tested, you know, it's a lot more safer in your body wash routine. And I did enjoy this one. I like the way this one smells. It felt, smelled very, very fresh. And yes, I will be repurchasing this. I do like this a lot. Next, I have a sunscreen that we used up this summer. This is the L'Oreal Paris Advanced Sun Care Quick Dry Sheer Finish Spray 50 Plus Broad Spectrum SPF 50 Plus. This was a great sunscreen. Um, it did work. Uh, it's one of the better sunscreens that I have found, especially from the drugstore. I really enjoyed the way this smelled, but it did a great job at protecting my kids from getting sunburnt. Um, so, yes, if you are looking for a good drugstore sunscreen, I would recommend this one. This one is a good one. All right, next I have my Drunk Elephant Bee Hydra Intensive Hydration Gel. This is like one of my holy grail products for my face absolutely love the drunk elephant products period but this one is one of my favorites i use this one during the day with the c firm day serum these two make a little cocktail with these two and they are amazing i, I highly swear by these two products this one i did use all this one up i do have another one I, I really 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 cannot tell you how much i like this product i think this is the key factor in the changing of my skin. I love the way this feels on my skin. I love what it does, and I highly recommend it. This is a little bit costly. It's not a little bit. This is very costly. This right here is like $52. It, it costs a lot to get it, but it is worth it. It is worth every single penny. Gosh, I have a lot of empties this month. Next, I have a Wet n Wild, the Coverall Primer. Um, I do. Yes, absolutely. This is a great primer from the drugstore. It's affordable and does a great job. Um, I would recommend that. I'm just going to kind of speed through here because if not, this video is going to be like 70 days long. Next, I have my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is in the shade 10 Light. This is my favorite drugstore concealer. I absolutely love this. Would I recommend it? Absolutely. Will I repurchase? Already have, honey. Love this. If you have not tried this concealer, I highly suggest you go out and get it because this is like the best the drugstore makes. Next, I have an empty pack of facial cleansing wipes. This is from Merle Norman. Um, they were all right. They weren't very, you know, nothing special. I use any kind of facial wipe. I don't use them often, but this was nothing special. For the money, I would say pass on them. Buy the Neutrogena ones. Buy the, you know, just anything from the drugstore. Don't spend the money on buying high-end face wipes. They all do the same thing. They take your makeup off. No, I like them, but I would not repurchase them. Next, I have the CeraVe Eye Repair Cream. Um, I do like this. 
would I repurchase it? Um, maybe. I probably would, yes, if I were, if I was out of eye cream and I couldn't get a hold of a higher end one that I like more. Yeah, from the drugstore, this is a very, this is a decent one. Um, I mean, obviously I use it. I used every drop of it and I think it did, you know, just as good as others. Um, it is a lot more affordable than some of the other eye creams that I have. So, yes, I would repurchase and yes, I would recommend also have another eye cream this one was from the brand it works this is a lip and eye moisturizing cream gel um i did like this one i actually like this one a lot um, this one's harder to get your hands on you have to you have to know somebody who sells the it works um line um but yeah i would probably repurchase this one if it was easily um accessible if not don't worry about it you can find that cerave works just as good and then lastly, I just have some empty samples that I've gotten in my, you know, little subscription boxes or whatever. First, I have the Mario Badescu Skin Care Seaweed Night Cream. It's this little bitty little simple thing. I love this. I do want to order the full size because I think this was an excellent eye cream. So, yes, would recommend. And I have normal skin, by the way, just in case you're new to my channel and you're not <clears throat> you're not aware of that. I have normal skin. I don't have oily, dry, combo, none of the above. I just have normal Next, skin. Next, I think I got this in my Sephora Play last month. This is the Paracone MD Face Finishing Moisturizer. Um, I loved this. This smelled like fresh roses. It smelled so good. I loved the way it made my face feel. It was a little bit more thick and emollient than some moisturizers. Um, so I did ought to use this at night. But oh my gosh, yes. I love this and I would absolutely purchase the full size. Um, next I have the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Nightcap Overnight Perfector. Now I use this in Destiny's hair. I didn't use it in mine. It did good in her hair. Um, probably wouldn't purchase the full size just because it didn't do anything that I thought was like amazing. Oh my god, I gotta run out and get it right now. But I mean, yeah, it did what it was supposed to do, I guess. It left her hair soft and stuff. So um, <laughs> then I have an it confidence in a cream. Yes, I did really like this um, moisturizer. I would love to order the full size of this. I do like it cosmetic products. I think they are very well made, very thought out. And I yes, I would love to try the full size of the it confidence in a cream because I felt like it did a really good job moisturizing my face. It didn't leave me oily or nothing like that. So okay, yeah. then I have that my collagen hydrogel lip patch. I did a video on that. That was trash. Don't waste your two dollars on that. That's just stupid. That's um, and then was. the last thing I have this is a Dr. Dennis Gross. This was a um, this was a skin peel. Let's see what it says. It's a ferulic and retinol wrinkle recovery peel. I like this. This came with two. The first one I used, I didn't really notice any kind of results or whatever. And then I used it again the day before yesterday and I did. I thought it did change my skin just a little bit. So I do like it. Would I purchase the full size? Probably not because Dr. Dennis Gross, they're it's very expensive products and I didn't see that much of a change in my skin to make me want to run out and buy the full size. So I'm going to pass on this one also. So that is it my camera's about to die so i'm trying to rush through the ending of this that is it for my empties right now um that was a lot of products i know um i've just been saving them up as i use them so i can do this empties video i do like doing empties videos because i know a lot of us are curious about these products that we see in the drugstore and we haven't we haven't used them you know like i wonder if that's good or not um, so I do like to film these videos to get this information out there for you guys because I like to be helpful in any way possible. So if you like this video or you feel it helpful, make sure you give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I will see you guys in my next video. I love you. Have a great evening. Bye.